I'm Elizabeth Tracy with CCTV Pet of the Month, and I'm here today with Karen to learn more about the fostering process that goes on here at the Animal Welfare League of Charlotte County. So who do we have here today? Well, we've got three kittens that are about five months old, and you all know that our basic mission is to take cats in and get them adopted. But what happens in between sometimes is a little, a little, a path that we need to take. Not all the kittens are hopping out, ready to go home, saying, take me, take me. Some of the cats aren't. So we have to get them ready. And what we need people to do is take them home, help us get them ready for adoption. Sometimes it's an amputee. Sometimes it's a cat that's had some teeth pulled, needs some meds, things like that. And with COVID, we figure people are home, some of them working from home, and some of them a little bored because they're not going out. So it's a perfect way to help us with the animals. These three came from home with 28 cats. They're lovely, healthy cats. They come to the front. However, let me just show you what happens. They're not used to being handled. Okay, this one's gotten better. I can touch his little head now. Last week I couldn't do that. So what we would like is for people to take cats like these home and socialize them a little better, handle them. Put them in a bathroom where they can't hide um, and just handle. Now, he doesn't like to be picked up. The other one ran and hid. Yeah, he does not want me to touch him. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you see how he kind of scoots away? That won't take long. That'll just take picking up, giving a little love, putting down. So, are you ready? Now, how, how long does, uh, do these foster arrangements usually last for? Depends on the situation. Okay. With an amputee, it might be just long enough for them to heal and get their checkup. With cats like this, it probably wouldn't take more than a week of one-on-one. -on -one. We can't give them, we can't give every cat the one-on-one -on -one that they need. That's why we depend on foster families. Um, and it's all well and good to take home the little kittens, but there's so many cats here that could just use that week or so in somebody's home. Um, now, how do you get more information about how to become a foster family? Oh, you can go online or you can call us. Um, our website is awlshelter.org uh, and you can fill out a, an application and tell us what kind of cat that you're willing to take in. Um, it, it really is an enormous help. I mean, we're here to get them ready for adoption, but some of them t are just not quite ready. All right. Very good, Karen. Thank you very much. So if you're interested in becoming a, a foster family for, for one of these cats or one of the other animals here that needs some little extra attention before they can find their forever home, please get in touch with the Animal Welfare League of Charlotte County. For CCTV Pet of the Month, I'm Elizabeth Tracy.